Another tactic, isn't it, that the opposition knows that the American people, any people in the world, will gladly give up their liberty and their comforts if it's in their mind a means of gaining security, protection against a dreaded threat of some kind. That's why regimes that are struggling to hold the loyalty of their people are very dangerous regimes because instinctively they know they have to go to war. They know that in time of war, the people will rally behind their leaders no matter what because we're at war. And if we lose this war, we'll be invaded, we'll be conquered by some dreaded enemy. And so throughout history, uh, governments that are weak or losing influence over their own people uh, traditionally start wars and or they manufacture uh, false flag operations against themselves. They create their own enemies. They, be, they want to be victims so that they can rally their citizens behind them and anybody who wants to continue criticizing these leaders is then branded as being unpatriotic or possibly even um, branded as a traitor. So it's an old ploy. It's been done throughout history. Machiavelli wrote about it. It's everywhere, everywhere you look in history, you see this ploy being used. And is it being used today in America? Absolutely it is, I'm sorry to say.